Welcome back to another episode of the MC Grammar Show with me, Mr. M, aka MC Grammar, where we learn from the coolest tool, music. Speaking of the music, today's song is the Ellipsis song. Let's check it out. Yo, a dot, 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 it's a dum, dum, dum. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, stutter, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, 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 the ellipsis bar. A dot, 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 is a dum, dum, dum. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, stutter, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, 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 the ellipsis bar. Yo, a dot, 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 is a dum, dum, dum. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, start up, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, dot, dot. The ellipsis bop. Love that one. So much energy and such a good vibe. You can even listen to it in your car if you want as well. Anyway, before we get stuck in with the learning, you have to be ready for the learning. So grab your pen, pencil, paper, or your tablet, put that thinking cap on and keep it positive because this is a positive learning experience where we all make mistakes and work out where we go wrong to get it right. Cool, let's take it to the board. Remember, we play the song. You learn the lyrics and we break those lyrics down to understand what the grammar objective is now this is all about an ellipsis what does it do well the rap song says a dot 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 is a dum 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 cliffhanger and you know that sound dum 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 create some form of a suspense what's gonna happen next and that's exactly what the ellipsis does we place it at the end of a sentence or in the middle at some point to create a form of suspense to keep your reader engaged. And we've got an example here. They thought they were safe, but then something terrible happened. Ellipsis. Dum, dum, dum. What's gonna happen? You wanna know more. You want to read more. Second example. Nothing could prepare them for what was in store next. Dum, dum, dum. See that? You want to know more. So as a reader, it's a great technique to come across to keep people engaged. So think of that when you're writing and that's how the lyrics work. And then it moves into the second part of the song where it says, and when it's time to cut, use a dot, 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 edit. So we can use an ellipsis to edit, basically cut out information that we don't think is relevant to the sentence, paragraph or extract. We have an example here where it says, you must believe in yourself deeply for the rest of your time on planet Earth if you wish to succeed and achieve. Now, that's a great quote, but I don't really need all of it for what I'm trying to get across, which is about working hard to succeed and achieve. So I can use the ellipsis to cut out, edit, cut some of that quote out. We have an example where it says, you must believe in yourself deeply, dot, 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 removed information, if you wish to succeed and achieve. That's a true story. So you can use that ellipsis to cut out information. It's very popular in famous quotes or extracts from stories or pieces of writing where we don't want all the information to get the point across. We just need some of it. And the last way we're focusing on today how to use ellipsis is, and it goes like this, and if you stut, stut, stutter, pause, use a dot, dot, dot. So we can also use an ellipsis to pause or stutter in a sense, in a piece of writing. Now again, this lends itself to that suspense writing. We have an example here where it goes, w -w what do you want? The scared salmon stuttered. Cool story. And the last one here, second example. And the winner of today's competition is dot, 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 Leon. So what we're doing there, we're taking a pause in the writing. And then the third, on the first example, we've used the ellipsis to create some form of stutter, some pause again for that suspense. So you can combine that with your cliffhanger to write some really suspenseful writing. Cool, so we have three uses there of the ellipsis. Powerful tool, the cliffhanger. We can edit or cut, and finally, we have that example where we pause or stutter. You know what? You guys are ready for your mic check. Let's go. Here we are with another mic check and a cool picture. So I've put together four examples here, four that you have to look at. What do you have to do? Well, you have to decide 
how the ellipsis has been used for each example. Has it been used to edit or cut information out? Has it been used to pause or stutter? Or has it been used for that cliffhanger, that ending that keeps you hanging on, creates that suspense? You just decide. So example one, we've got cautiously the crew crept into the house, dot, 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 ellipsis. Then we've got, why did that door just creak? You decide there. Think happy thoughts, dot, 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 and everything will be okay. And the last example, they carefully opened the door and saw that it was just Sarah outside taking a selfie. So now it's up to you to decide what the ellipsis has been used for in each sentence. Pause, edit or cut, or cliffhanger. You decide, I'm gonna disappear for about a minute, and this is just about matching the use of the ellipsis to the correct sentence. Four examples, one minute, off you go. And we're back with the answers for you now. So we can see example number one is a cliffhanger. You're creating that suspense for your reader. Example number two is a pause. Why did that door just creak? So as you can see, as a reader right there, you're thinking, what's going on? This character is nervous. It gives you a good insight to how they are feeling as well. Example number three, we've got edits. We're chopping out some information that's not relevant. And the last one is another cliffhanger. Cool. Let's move on to the showtime task. It's showtime. It is showtime and wow, we have a tough one today. Why? Because we are focusing, yes, on the ellipsis objective, but we're also bringing in other objectives from the national curriculum and the English language. Wow, tough. Not really, you can go back on our channel and look at those lessons too to help you out. So what do you have to do? Well, we have a picture here and we have an extract. Now, in that extract, there are gaps that need filling. Filling with what? This, the punctuation you can see right there on your screen. And there are clues as well. So the ellipsis is missing seven times. You have to decide, of course, what it's being used for. We've got a full stop. Four of those are missing, inverted commas times two, you've got a comma times two, capital letter times five, and also one exclamation mark is missing. So I'm gonna disappear in a moment, you're gonna have two minutes, you've got some good time there. But remember, you can pause this clip and give yourself that space you need to fill those gaps with that punctuation. This is the showtime task, take your time with it. Off you go.
And here are the answers. It's quite a few, isn't there? Anyway, I hope you got on well with that task. Remember, you can always pause it, go back, go back on this lesson and all of the other lessons to help you out. Get your friends involved as well because we want to share our content. So please do like the channel, subscribe to share this way of learning and our lessons with the world. We want to continue making cool content just for you. So spread the word. Cool. Right. Before we go, you know, we have that special right at the end where we give you the opportunity to send in your work and it's called the random right. So last week we spanned the reels and we ended up with a Lego caveman, a vault or a bank, and we had a slice of watermelon and a mermaid. And your job was to put those characters, items and setting together to create some form of random right, a newspaper report, a poem, a character profile, story, script, interview, you name it. Remember you send the work in and we share it. So we're gonna spin the reels again to find out what this week's writing task entails. Off we go, let's have a look. Wow, that is random. It looks like we have a tooth there. That could be the tooth fairy. Never met the tooth fairy, could be. A haunted house, a wizard, a wizard hat, that sort of fits pretty well there. And it looks like some form of octopus. Doesn't it very kind either. So we could have, you know, a story involving a battle between the tooth fairy and the octopus. Maybe the octopus has teeth and one of them falling out and the tooth fairy's coming but it can't get there because the octopus lives underwater and you need um, some form of magic. So you've got to go to the haunted house to pick up the wizard's hat. To... Anyway, it's a random right. We want to see your writing. How do we get your writing? Send it to us. Here it is. Hello at mcgrammarshow.com. That's the email address or get in touch via the socials at Mr. MC Grammar. Remember to have the permission from your parent or guardian first. That's very, very important. Please do send your work though. We want to share it with the world. You guys are amazing. Cool. Remember, have you liked the lesson? Please do if you haven't. And also subscribe to our channel so we can keep sending you cool content like this straight to your computer, tablet, wherever you are in the world. Great, right, it's time for the end of the lesson and we're gonna finish it the way we started with the music. This is the Ellipsis song. Let's go. Yo, a dot, 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 it's a dumb, dumb, dumb. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, stutter, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, 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 the Ellipsis bar. A dot, 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 it's a dumb, dumb, dumb. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, stutter, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, dot, dot. The ellipsis bar. Yo, a dot, dot, dot. It's a dumb, dumb, dumb. And when it's time to cut, use a dot, dot, dot. And if you start, start, stutter, use a dot, dot, dot. Do the dot, dot, dot. The ellipsis bar.